Welcome to Kempo University. My name's Alan Babinick, and I'm your instructor. We're gonna break the V-step rule. Oh no. But it's also gonna be why we break the V-step rule. All right, so the V-step rule is you V-step in, but never away. Now when you're V-stepping, so if I was standing like in a little horse here, if I V-step in, so I'm making a V with my feet. That's basically what we're talking about, in case you're not sure what I'm starting with. When I V-step in, as I come into my cat for the V-step, I've closed my center line. I'm actually set to kick if I wanted to, and I'm choosing my line of entry. I could step in front of the guy's leg. I could step behind their leg. I could go where I want to. So when we do a technique like circling the horizon, we're following the rule, okay? So if you're doing circling the horizon, gathering clouds, that type of thing, where you've got a definite V-step in there, we're following the rule. So if I was doing circling the horizon, it's, a right, it's in blue, it's a right straight punch coming at my face, you wanna make sure that as you go off to the side, I'm ready to V-step in. This is lower than this, remember, you don't, you don't wanna get caught. So I step in and I'm following my V-step rule, okay? Now in long five, we're gonna break the V-step rule, but we're doing it for a reason, all right? And this is uh, part of when you're doing katas, if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you definitely wanna find out. Don't just do motion for no reason whatsoever, okay? But we are breaking the, the uh, rule. I'm coming out of destructive fans, so I'm gonna get in position. So I just did my last punch for destructive fans. Now. What's happening, let me go through the motions first. I'm gonna cat in and do a right downward block. And then, then I step back and get my parry in there in my neutral bow. And then I'm pivoting and doing my uh, upward ridge hand. Remember it's upward ridge hand for dance of death. Okay, so what we're trying to do, the guy's throwing a kick punch. This is an over-completed technique because it's going to be against kick punch, not just the normal punch. So when I'm coming out of destructive fans and the guy's trying to kick me, I'm blocking the kick and then the punch is coming at my head. So then I can step back and do my parry and then get into my uh, upward ridge hand. All right. So I don't know if you can tell, I just V-stepped away. That's the rule break. I just did a V-step, I cat it in, but instead of coming towards you or going off an angle over here, I stepped back. That's why we're breaking the rule. We're trying to bait the guy into throwing that punch, all right? If I was here and I stepped back, if he couldn't reach me with a kick, he's not gonna throw a punch at my face when I stepped back, right? He'll do something else. Who knows what, another kick, whatever, who cares? But he won't try to punch me because he's already too far away. If his kick couldn't reach, he's not throwing a punch. And he saw you step back. If I'm doing the uh, last move, if I cat in and I'm here, I blocked his kick, now he thinks my head's still on the line. Now he thinks he can still get me. So as I block his punches coming in now. Oh, no, 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 you can't hit me. Boom. That's a present for you, okay? So by catting in, we are baiting him into throwing the second punch for Dance of Death, okay? Well, it's actually the first punch, second strike. So we did a kick first, he tried to kick us, but by not moving our head. So if I was here and I moved my head backwards first, he's not gonna throw a punch. If I was here and I just did this, my head's still close enough to him. Once his foot lands, he's gonna throw that punch and then I can step back and do the rest of my kata, all right? Now, when we go into the second side of Dance of Death, we're doing something totally different. So it doesn't really apply, but we are breaking the uh, V-step in and never away rule, but that's why, because we're trying to bait him in, all right? So most of the time, don't ever do that. <laughs> Unless you know what you're doing and you know what the plan is, all right? So, but there's the rule break in five.
Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.